welcome to everybody for today's drawing session by Nancy Johnson. Um, thanks for taking the time to join us. Um, our sessions are kindly brought, by, brought, brought to you by Be Connected, which is an Australian government initiative, which is a fantastic thing. So yes, we'd like to thank Be Connected for that. And I will now pass you on to Nancy Johnson. Welcome to the drawing class. Uh, now today I'm going to show you some fruit and vegetables, but I want you to think about shapes, not fruit and vegetables, just shapes, because that's how I teach my drawing classes. We look at shapes and simplifies everything. So there's a couple of pears that I did yesterday. I went around the supermarket, pretty measly looking pears, but anyway, um, they were from that. And then this one here is capsicums and pears again. And I keep a sketchbook um, that, now that's all Halloween. Now I've sort of picked up things out of Coles' catalogue and things like that and just drawn them. Um, and I, I doodle little things to make cards. Um, sorry, can you see that? Yes. Um, and um, just with a pen and, and so I've sort of nice. got my ideas down all the time and, and they're not, some of them aren't great. But a lot of those things I might turn into cards for, yeah, a, for a birthday present, a birthday card. Or a, oh, that was one I did for a friend she was going overseas. It's not hard. If you can get yourself a sketchbook like that, which you can buy at Coles or Woolies. They're just shapes of trust tomatoes. And I've just done them with a fountain pen just a minute ago. Not <laughs> real accurate but but strawberry raspberry blueberry and you can see they're just shapes yes all right <laughs> yes so we'll get started i'll just go over here to the bench and uh, get started i also want to show you um what sort of pencil i use pencil and i use uh an intense pencil and it's water soluble, so you you can draw a line. First of all, this is my, how you start your pair. A circle. And I never rub out until the last thing. See, I've got a bit of a dink there, but that won't matter. The pair is a bit like that. Now, I'm is gonna... that just quickly, is that close, close enough for everybody? Can you, you see? see? As I said the other day, everything's made up of a, a shape. Mm -hmm. And then I look at my pear, and here it is here. <laughs> and it's got a big hook for the stem. Mm -hmm. And then it's sort of rounded at the top. And it com comes out of a little spot there. And then it comes down. And then... Then it doesn't completely go around, it comes around a bit like that, goes up a little bit. But as you can see, it's all sort of from that circle and the triangle. All right, now if I use, I've used an intense pencil, I'm going to do some shading. Mm. I'll just put a little bit of water on that paintbrush. Okay. Not really painting, it's just shading and just develops your pear a little bit more. I'll tell you what, not easy drawing up, upside down like this girl's, but if I <laughs> sat at the table, it'd be upside down to you. So <laughs> I don't want to confuse anyone. But anyway, this here. Oh. Is this something they can do later on, Nancy? Yeah. If they don't have a paintbrush? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to do it. I just wanted to show you, though, we can we can use a fountain pen. You can use um, pencil. You can use a uni pen. This is, uh, this one I use quite a lot if we're on holiday anywhere and we're on a bus tour and I'll sketch. Uh, 
while we're going along. Look, I'm just doodling, but I've done, uh, you know, the, what, oh, they used to call them the black boy trees. Right, right. Uh, yeah. the trees. <laughs> That's yeah. not appropriate these days. Drawn things while I've gone along. When we were in England, I drew castles and I'd just do a quick sketch like that and then, you know, it'd be round. And then because the bus shakes a bit, you'd have all this stone work and it would be all right because it was just like scribble. Looked fantastic in the end. I'll, I'll grab my book later and show you. Um, I'm a bit scared to put too much water on it because it will might run everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and also this is uh, just a, a cartridge paper, so it, it's not the best, but water, water. Sorry, I dropped my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just wanted to show you, like, shapes, trust tomatoes, see <laughs> all the ovals, yeah. a mango, it's sort of a circle and then a bit of a point down here, um, an onion, and the onions are lovely to draw, I, <laughs> it's just the everyday thing, you don't have to have anything fancy to draw, um, and if you can sort of learn to look at shapes, you'll have no trouble drawing. With the strawberry, it's a little triangle if you go up that way. Yes. And when you really look, you can see they, these little seeds in there, they go across that way, and that way, and that way. This type of drawing that I'm showing you, makes you really look at things you'll see things in a different way and then the little blueberry and a pumpkin pumpkins are nice to draw because it's sort of like an oval <laughs> oval that way or yeah and then you've got these lines that go around like all the way round you've got your little stem in the center and then you've got these lovely markings which when you do the marking are just like we did the other day oh, no. draw a pumpkin uh, i've got a piece in the center all right so there's our pumpkin now when i look at that it's got little markings just here and there <laughs> And these lines are heavier. If you just do what I've said and look at shapes instead of thinking, oh God, it's, I couldn't draw that, which most people say, and don't worry, I've always said that too. But when you start to do it, and the more you do it, the better you get. And all, I always look at um, my drawings I used to be a cake decorator. Every cake I did was a practice one for the next cake. Well, every drawing I do is a practice for the next one. There we've got the little pumpkin. And it, look, this is what I'm doing. It was like the teddy bear that I did on Monday, the little squiggles, but that makes up the fur. And just practicing, just practicing, holding a pencil, I'll use, a, I'll use a lead pencil now, just to show you the... All right, just learning to flick. Flick your pencil, and I'm not pressing hard on the pencils. I'm just, um, just touching the paper to do a shape. All right, now we'll do the strawberry triangle all right and then in here the little stems uh the little fruit oh the little green flower petals i must be there but my nose is running sorry girls <laughs> and then when you look at the strawberries 
Okay. All go around. And I once you start doing drawing, and I hope you all do, you look at everything so differently. You look at a flower and, and you see things so differently and very rewarding. In those st strawberries, there's a little seed in the middle of each one. That's just a quick sketch. The same with the pineapple. Pineapple to go into an ov uh, a oblong. We've got our pineapple coming around like this. And they're all the same, they're like And then it's a matter of just getting your, your darks and lights in and your light source is coming from one way and your darks is coming from another way. So there's a pair and oh, capsicums are beautiful to draw. All right, and there's some capsicums I drew yesterday. Yeah. And then uh, I've got a rubber here. Yeah. And if you've, if you've gone too dark on anything, Staying here and you want more light, you just pick a bit of the rubber off and just and see how you get your light in. They were, uh, we ate, ate them for tea last night, sorry. Now that's one of my bowls, it's over there in the corner and a bowl of oranges. And you can see with my drawing, it's all just sort of cross hatching like this, one way and then the other with the, with the oranges. You can see that? Up close. And now these eggplant are beautiful to draw because they're just a lovely, beautiful Love. shape and shiny. <laughs> and then here's, the, here's some pears. <laughs> they're just little watercolour ones. And um, but I brought them out to show you the different shapes of pears. And you get little Ones like this, that's, uh, I forget what they're Corella. called, Corella pear. And this is a Swede. Well, see the shape it fits into? Everything fits into a shape. So if you, if I was taught years ago that, you know, I had to draw a, um, a face and I did George Bernard Shaw. I had to draw it upside down. Mm. And because, and I said, why do you do it upside down? And they said, well, you look at the eyes and you think I can't do that. Oh, no, you won't be able to do the mouth or the nose. Do it upside down and just look at shapes. And it was a, it turned out a terrific painting. Look at things and, and if, if too, um, you're doing a drawing and you're not happy with it, go into the bathroom mirror and hold it upside down. And <laughs> if there's a, any fault in the shape, it'll um, come up. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this from my imagination. Mm -hmm. Wait on, I'll get this little Scotty dog, oblong shape. Yes. An oblong shape for the head. And then you've just got the little nose, the ears, the tail, and the little legs. This was, <laughs> this lady wrote the book, um, and she was um, 90, oh. in her 90s, and she asked me to illustrate it. Uh, and about uh, a little dog, and she wanted to do it for a her um, grandchildren or great grandkids. Are you able to show them just Can roughly you see? how to do it on the sketch pad? Yeah. There? Yes. So we've got our shape like this. All right. Yes. Now, if that goes up a little bit, so I'm, it comes down like this. Uh, and then we've got a little tail here, and we've got a leg here. I'm going to leg behind, and that behind is, is a little bit shorter because it's behind. And the one here, and another one in the front here. I don't know where I've got his body a bit long, but. Scotty dog. No, <laughs> he's a Scotty dog. <laughs> he's a Scotty dog. Don't confuse me. Now, he's got a couple of ears here, and a nose. So. And we start shaping it around here, I mean, round to the leg. Mm. 
and do a little bit of hair. And it all comes together. Once again, it's just a simple shape. And then you work on you work on things to and yeah. and you don't really do it standing up like this. No. <laughs> it makes it easier if you Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be better in a minute. Oh, isn't the brush here? <laughs> about your shapes. Well, that's where you come in when, when you've got your shape. Well, then you say, right, well, that's that's up a bit high. That needs to come down lower. So, so then, then you can use your rubber. So you never rub out. You always use those lines. Like here. Now see that's not a perfect circle but I'm going to keep going until I get it per perfect. Well I hope it's perfect. Mm -hmm.